Hello YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got a heat wave 10 degrees. This cold weather is killing me. I gotta watch it. I'll get too hot here. It's 70 on the thermometer over there. Any more than that, it starts getting uncomfortable working in here. It really does. We're building a thing to hold our grinder so we can use it as a disc sander. Okay. We made this squared. This is like 3 and 8 inch wide, so that's what we did here, where that line is. Then we'll have holes drilled, plus we can clamp to the side of a bench or table. You can always adjust that line. What we are finding out is the center of this disc. See my chicken scratching? And then we'll go to either side when we figure out how wide that U-shaped piece has to be cut up. So we're building this all on the fly. See, we, we don't have no determined length yet. So we'll lay this down, okay? And then we'll show you what we're talking about. This piece. So we're going to measure the diameter of that. Um, we're so used to metal working that we're chamfering, in some countries, or chamfering uh, the corners after we saw it. And we're sawing this with a handsaw. It's our cheap little $9 back saw. We'll put a picture at the end. It's not our Japanese double edge saw. And we're doing really good. We got it up in the big wolf vise so we can lay it flat and we just draw our line on the pencil line. So, we're kind of doing it like we would with metal. With I want them to do the best job I can. We're going to use those nice screws that we salvaged out of the shells. That's what these boards are from. So, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to try to show you more action shots and to me just rambling on about it. So, this is not a real long video. Uh, if it is, oh well. If you want to build one, it'll be nice I include everything I can. So, we'll be back when we get this measurement made and this U-shaped thing cut out. Okay, this distance is about an inch because I wanted, you know, to, to have some something out here to cover that. This will be double stacked because it's almost hitting the table. And this table is pretty flat. So this will be double stacked piece of wood, glued together, clamped, whatever. We'll show you the back view. And we allowed for extra clearance when we measured this. This came out like two inches. So we allowed for some extra clearance in there. So... See if we can do this without everything falling off the table. Can you get a better idea? There. So we found the center of the notch. We sawed down with our hand saw about to here. We found something approximately two inch to make the radius to draw that. It just it's good enough. I mean you're never gonna see it. Okay, there you go. We use these to measure. These are our fractional dial calipers. They don't measure thousands, they measure, measure parts of an inch. I think I did a video on those. If not, I'll... somebody wants to see them in a Sunday in the Shop video, maybe remind me there. Uh, and I'll put them in there. Uh, they started selling these again. I'm sure I showed them one time. Okay, there you go. We're not going to give you a whole lot of dimensions how long this is going to be. Depends on what kind of grinder you have. This grinder works good because of the things on the top. Another little thing you got to worry about is cooling. Uh, they cool through the sides. We're going to have this jacked up with a little bit of a shim. See, so it's level. And do this at your own risk. If I don't put description, uh, this has to be mounted. There has to be something hold this. It might just be simple wire and screws. Like I said, we will be using those nice screws to hold this together. That way it saves trying to glue it. Uh, there might be a couple parts glued. Like I said, doubling up these boards might be glued. So stay tuned. So we might be all done when we come back. I so, said, and then we'll kind of give you what it looks like. So all these measurements or whatever your grinder is, I'm just showing the basics of, of how I'm setting up to make this to clear everything. So stay tuned. Okay, quick clip. We made a design change. We had that way too long. That's just two inches on either end. So this is a foot, okay, and this board on the bottom is 16 inches. We made it. So, so we can clamp whatever. And we was talking about maybe shimming this up, but we'll have this on the edge of a bench, so. See, it will clear. But we'll have it on on the edge of a table. You know what I mean. Just three screws. We're drilling the size for our thread, which is what we measure is. We measure the screw without the threads. Approximately. See that? Mark the depth with a Sharpie marker. You can see it on there. Then we make a clearance hole in this piece of wood, which we have that marked with a sharpie. So that's how I do my screws on wood. 
So you have a clearance hole. We don't want any threads grabbing this. So this is all clearance hole, and then your threads are grabbing in here. So that's how I do my woodworking. You can do it however that you're used to. But I messed up. I would already did start on the board and didn't know there was a knot back here. We don't care. This is just for work. It's not for show. So stay tuned. We talked about this design thing too long. When we come back, hopefully we will be all done. Okay, we're done for now. If we we may make a video of how we're gonna mount it. We may try to go through with the bolt here on the other side. We may try to go through the bottom with a bolt. We chose to I'm glad it allowed me enough. We chose to put this board out here. Putting it in here and running the screws into the end of the grain was not my choice. I'd rather go here where the board's just a little bit bigger. Uh, we have it so the cord will go through. You can take this grinder out. The cord will fit through there. We've got a coat of linseed oil on it. If you can tell the difference of the wood I was working with. And we'll give it one more coat before we go in for the day. So, thanks for watching. Uh, you might see one called part two on this of me just figuring how to mount this. But the video is getting entirely too long here on this project. So, thanks for watching. Hope that gives you an idea if you want to make something like this. I did thought of jacking this up, but when you do, if you look at it, it sets better the way it is. I think it'll get enough air because this goes up at an angle. So. It's just cheap grinder. I don't think it's going to overheat. These things blow air out everywhere. Uh, outside they'll freeze you. They blow so much air out of them. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.